Hey, Anjali, Queen V on 95.7 The Beach, Tampa Bay, hip hop and R&B. We are live from LA for the BET Awards 2016. And let me tell you, it is electric. It's lit. It's going down. And we're going to keep you up to date behind the scenes for all of the action. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Finally. Live from LA for the BET Awards 2016 on 95.7 The Beat, Tampa Bay's Hip Hop and RV. Please welcome the beautiful Fantasia. Hi, baby. I am so honored to meet you. Yeah. So, you came to Tampa Bay yeah. for your concert yes. with Anthony Hamilton and you tore it down. Thank you. You saw Tampa, how much Tampa adores you. It was a, a rowdy crowd. Yes. I mean, and then you put on a show. You were on stage for a lo long time. She loved us a long time. I didn't want to leave. It took me five minutes. I'm like, we didn't want you to leave. Like, I love that. I love how you, you really, you take us to another place. It's not just a concert. It's not, it, it's, music is medicine. It heals us. And I felt like I was at a specialist. I felt like I was at the doctor. I felt like I was. I always tell people. I always tell people, like, music for me is ministry. So what I always say on the stage, you really never know what people are going through. You don't. And when they buy that ticket, for that hour or two hours, they just want to get away from what they're going through. Yes. So I always say, Lord, let somebody dance and they dance in a long time. Let somebody smile and they smile for a long time. It just me to be that person. Yes. Because I always say, I don't ever want to get caught up in in the height. I just want to be taken. That's right. Get out there on that stage and give my testimony. And that's what you do. And, and that's what it is, your testimony. The fact that you have shared so much of yourself mm -hmm. in your life. The good times, the not so good times. Yeah. The hills, the valleys, yeah. and the lessons that you've learned along the way. Yeah. You are so real, and I love it. You know, like where I was from, we had, we had, we used to call them old mothers. And the old mothers would sit us down, and they would give us what they've been through. Just to, just to say, you know, I've done this, I've done that, I never gave up. No matter what you've been through, you can still keep going. Learn from the lesson, don't go back to it, learn from it. So I always say I want to be that one where I'm just, you know, I'm human. But it's not easy to make mistakes and then be so open about your mistakes. Yeah. And, and they say you have to have a test to have a testimony. Yeah, yeah. But sharing all that makes you so vulnerable. And the fact that you're you're willing to let us in and say it's going to be okay. This yeah. is what I've gone through and I made it. That's powerful. You know, I, think, I, I feel like it's easy. It's easy. I don't have to get out of my bed every day and pretend to be anything else but me. Right. And I accept everything I've been through. I'm proud of all of it. I wouldn't go back to some of it. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but I accept it all. And, I, and you know, when I But some people it, hide from it. And yeah. they would never share it. I don't want to. And the fact that you didn't and you helped us all to get through our own trials, tribulations, messiness, whatever you want to call it, I, I respect that. And I admire you so much for that, baby. I promise you, I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting right here with her, like, what is going on? Is this really happening? <laughs> so you have new music coming out that, of course, we are checking for. Tell us about it. My baby. I'm this Yes. You know, I was raised in a, in a home with folk singers, musical band, started in gospel. Yeah, of course. And then, you know, uh, all my uncles, my father, uh, first cousins, Casey and Jim, well, everybody sings. And we grew up where there was good singing, soul singing. And so it's not a lot of soul singing going on. But I'm fighting for it, and I, I, I gotta stay true to who I am. Yes, yes. Um, I went into the studio with a man by the name of Rob Fair, who's an amazing man. And uh, when I went into the studio with him, I always said the good Lord works in the studio as well. Because he was at a place in his life and he felt like nobody wants to hear this stuff anymore, so I was not going to do it. And I went in and I said, no, they want to hear it, and I want to do it, and I got to do it with you. So every day in that studio, every song that we did, I even was like, yo, I want to do songs like how James Brown used to do it, and Tina Tina, I want to buy a band in the studio. And we did that. We did that. And it just felt so good. And sleeping with the one I love is my, my single out right now. It's like, like churchy, bluesy, jazzy, pretty. You know, people like, I don't know, people are ready for that. I don't know if radio stations are ready. But 
want to sing it live. I want people to hear it. Did you love that record? Yes. And so much. I think people still want to hear like good old music like me. So when you do it like you do it, of course we do. <laughs> you make us feel it in here. It was deep inside. Like yeah. it, it touches your soul. So singing. Yes. You know, seeing what I go through. I sing what I feel. Not only do I sing what I feel. I some people get a meet every night on tour. Front of people. Yes. You know, people share their story with me. So I, I carry that on stage. I carry that in the book. Yeah, so I try to sing it, and I want people to feel that, that it's real. It's raw. Wow. It comes from a certain place. It's so true. Your honesty and vulnerability begets our honesty and vulnerability. So you have a video that they're fresh and Yeah, I don't rush it. There's some good copy going on here. Don't do that. You have a video that's going to premiere yes. before the BC Awards. So I did it with Derek Blanks, and I'm actually playing four roles. Uh, I want to, you know, I'm, I'm taking full control of my own destiny right now. It's been 12 years for me. Amen. 12 years of a lot of ups and downs. And I feel like you can't blame, you can't always blame other people. You gotta take some responsibility to say, yes, I, I, I said you could do that, I hired you for this, I hired you for that. But you gotta always make sure that you're checking on your own stuff. You gotta always make sure that your hands is in the pot whenever people, you know. Indeed, of course. And so now I'm taking control of my own destiny. So I want to, to tap into that whole acting side. Yes. Um, you know, musically, I want to take it to a whole nother level. And so this video right here is showing a lot, you know, that I, I still can do a a lot of acting. <laughs> uh, we we're gonna make, we're gonna continue to watch your journey. I love you. Appreciate you. Tampa Bay definitely stands up for you. And keep doing what you're doing. I'm not a religious person, but I'm a spiritual person, and I feel like he is using you to teach us, to show us some things, and and and. and Help us with our own journeys. So thank you for that. Yes, give me a hug. Oh. <laughs> I love Fantasia, 95.7 The Beat, Tampa Bay's Hip Hop and R&B. Yeah.